Snapchat. Snapchat is one of those controversial apps which people either don't get, try it for about four seconds and decide they don't like it, um, or are really, really getting into it. Somewhere in between, you guys must fit in there. What I did notice using Snapchat for quite a while now is that the battery life really takes a beating. So I decided to kind of do a little bit of investigation to find out what I can do to help the battery life of that. Welcome to another Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. My name is Liron Sega, and check out this Snapchat. Two things that I've discovered. One is the battery and one is the data. If you go onto your phone, and this I'm doing on an Android phone, this is the Samsung S6 Edge. If you go into that and you search for something called battery usage, you'll be able to see just how much battery this thing sucks out of it. Snapchat is 5%, it's just below 6% of the screen. It's really, really intensive. It shouldn't be sucking out that much, but I suppose it uses both the camera, it uses the screen, it uses the back flash. It really, really is intensive, and therefore all of these are battery issues. What you can do to help yourself and maximize not just the usage of your phone, but your Snapchat experience, go into data usage. Here's where you're gonna get your first right. The first one is, look how much data Snapchat actually uses, 781 megs. It's way above absolutely everything else. Even if you're not a snapper and you're just watching other people's feeds, you'll be using a lot of data. So if you're in a paid package or a data package without not being unlimited, you've really, really gotta look out for that. By comparison, something like Pandora, which I stream a lot of music, comedy on that, is 183 megs. So this is 781, it's really, really quite up there. So be very, very aware not to get those data bull shocks when you're using Snapchat for a while and wondering where your data went. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, if you go into this, you have an option called restrict background data. If you enable that, what it means is that Snapchat is not going to just work in the background. Normally, we would close applications, we would press that, close all, and assuming that all the apps are no longer running. But that isn't true. There's still services which are still carrying on running. By the way, the same would work on your and on your iOS phone. If you're going to setting general, background app refresh, find Snapchat and disable that. You'll get basically the same experience where the app is no longer running. Now, the one thing to remember is that Snapchat has some push notifications where it lets you know that somebody has sent you a personal snap. If you, if you disable that, you might not see those notifications. But because normally people who use Snapchat are so busy opening it all the time to go see who is the latest, what's happening on the latest timeline, and, and who's snapping, it's kind of what stories they're up to, you pretty much don't have to worry about that feature if you're using Snapchat quite regularly. we are popping back into that app anyway. All right, so that's another talking tech with a taking eye and another tip for you. Enjoy your snapping. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat. It's at the techie guy. Add me. Cheers for now.